also. This is my timetable for today. So at 10 a.m. I have a graded tutorial. At 12 p.m. I have a lecture. 2 p.m. I have a sectional, but it's not happening because of Good Friday. And then at 4 p.m. I have a lecture until 6. So I'm supposed to be busy for 8 hours. The class is CS1231, which is uh, discrete structures. So it's a mod that every CS student has to take. Because I was taking business and computer science, I had a choice between taking CS1231 and CS1231S. So typically it doesn't matter, but I chose CS1231 because the tutorial is on Zoom. Whereas CS1231S, the tutorial is face to face. So because Joseph doesn't pay attention during the tutorial, he's gonna record it and he probably doesn't ever watch the recording. Yeah, honestly speaking, in the morning I play Genshin. Uh, it's just like the Zelda Breath of the Wild game with anime waifu. I just started playing. Yeah, so I need to do my daily quest. Listen to your sequence. Each time you have 48 choices, you need to make I will legit only see him study like once a week. Whenever I walk in on him, he's probably like chatting on Telegram or he's playing some game on his phone. So Joseph actually takes a double degree in business and computer science. And business and computer science is one of the most intense degrees that you can take in uni. But he seems to be leading a rather carefree lifestyle. So meanwhile, I'll be going back to my room to study for linear algebra, which at this point I'm already like five tutorials behind. It's not even funny anymore. Like at this point, I'm not even trying to do well in the mod. I'm just trying to get a C plus so that I can pass it and never do it again. You look at my percentile for the midterms, it was so bad. <laughs> I really can't do math. So studying was a lie and not spending the last 20 minutes watching Daniel Tamago videos. The time now is about 10.50 and we're gonna check back in on Joseph and see how he's doing. Oh, hi. What are you looking at? On oh, YouTube. So as you can see, the tutorial is still going on. It's one dollar forty cents, but it's very good. We need to go and buy cups for the prank. We're gonna prank one of our friends. So yesterday she was suggesting to us that we should prank one of our seniors, but what she doesn't know that is we're gonna prank her instead. So we've already created a Telegram group with some of the seniors inside. Joseph, why are you not wearing shoes? Sorry. Why not my shoes? No. Yo. We just going to your online YouTube vlog. Reputation ruined. Run, 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 run. What happened after I left? I was just using my phone, waiting for the tutorial TA to end. Now we're going to eat lunch. It's about 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. I have a lecture. Uh, it's okay. We'll get things done later. Yes. <laughs> this one. Hello. So for lunch, we are headed to Food Click, which is one of the food courts in U Town. I eat shit. <laughs> Uh, do you want to eat this one? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. Watch me, do you want? Thank you, really. Thank you. You know, all these are the cheap ingredients. That's like, not worth the... Oh. No, no, no. Please, and What you like, hello. Hello. <laughs> So waiting for our food, we're gonna do a short interview with Joseph. So how many hours do you study in a day? Honestly speaking, like in terms of like productive work, I get in about two hours ish to three yeah. I think two hours is an exaggeration. No, it is it's not. It's really not. To be honest. There are ways that you can cut corners. I think recording your lectures and watching them at two times speed is probably the most efficient way to do it. But for me, I don't watch the lectures anymore because they are too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? 
and we are the worst mala eaters. We order wula. So basically it means it's non-spicy. Honestly, I think the spiciness takes away the mala taste. Like, okay, a lot of people are gonna kill me for this, but I think mala with no chili tastes a lot better than the one chili. So that was a really long lunch. We spent about like two and a half hours or close to three hours sitting there. The time now is really almost three. We had a lot of meaningful conversations, but yeah, we just basically wasted like half the afternoon. Better run, better run, faster than my brother. 7 cm. So basically the plan is to fill her entire room with plastic cups of water. So we are measuring the diameter of one cup and then we see how many cups we need. 7 times 7 is what? 49. 49, 49 cm squared. The time now is 3 05. How has your day been going? I actually have not done work at all. Actually same. I call him the laziest student but to be honest, I'm also equally lazy. I think this should just be a vlog for the laziest students. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna change the title to laziest students. <laughs> okay, right now we are in Sinik's room and the plan is to move her entire room and copy and paste it into Ankita's suite. And then we're gonna fill the plastic cups with water and we're gonna put it all over her floor. So that is the plan. She has a lesson from 3 to 6 so she won't suspect anything at all. Okay, so change of plans, we are shifting her entire room to the balcony instead. Yeah, we're on the balcony right now. The view here is pretty nice. So Sydney gets to enjoy a extremely nice view of U Town. Wow, she studies here tonight. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> 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 Okay, then do you want to do the trolley again or just push all the way? Just push all the way. Just push all the way. Just push all the way. Why we use hundred percent of our brain? Okay, time for tutorial. I'm out. Minus one. Okay, wait. Then we need uh someone help. Uh, Glenn, then we lift up. One, two, three, up. Okay, trolley out. Okay. Out. Oh, 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 it's perfect. Oh, yeah. Successfully shifted the entire room. I'm coming here to take a picture for them. So we are done shifting the entire room to the balcony. Now we are doing the second part of the prank, which is to fill her room with plastic cups of water. Yeah. Oh, flash yeah. We can flash toilet, like we just, we just <laughs> her shoes are literally sitting outside the door. <laughs> yes. Hello. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Woo! Good job, good job. Sorry, you must go. Okay. The time now is 4.30. Yeah. What are you, what's your plan now? I'm gonna take a break, but after that I need to go for a part truck OP interest group from 5 to 7. So I'll only be back at about 7.15, 7.30 Then I think from there I'll probably can try to get some work done So I just got done bathing and I'm wearing a singlet right now because these few days have been ridiculously hot Like last night I woke up in the middle of the night at 4am just to go and bathe because I was sweating so much in my sleep So the time now is about 5 and I'm gonna be doing some math for real now because this one hour is the only time I have in the day to study because at night I do have a cap support session from 8 to past 10 and at 6pm Sydney is going to come back from business school so we're going to have to film her reaction then 
and then after that is dinner, so I basically don't have time for the entire day. If all goes well, I only have one hour of productive time today. So it's really bad. <laughs> okay, just kidding, I'm really sleepy right now, so I'm gonna take a quick 10 minute power nap, and hopefully I'll wake up in 10 minutes, and then I will continue with math after that. Okay, that ended up being a bit too long, it's already 6.03. Soon it's gonna come back soon, so I guess I won't be studying today. Oh my god! I say hi to the camera. <laughs> oh my god! Ow. Happy April Fools. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god! I was like, why do you keep asking me am I bad already or not? It's like, that sucks eh. For me it's a DH, oh my god, I'll kill myself. It's a video. Oh my god. Yes, I got nice view. My room is the best room now. <laughs> oh my god. The first is the zoo. <laughs> Feeding time <laughs> ah, open your mouth. Ah, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> ah. Hey, you can have the rest of the audio. <laughs> okay, bye bye. So we just pranked her and it's about 6.30 now and I'll be heading to McDonald's for dinner with my friend who is driving me there. Look at this guy getting A for marketing. How was your touch rugby? It was damn fun, but it ended very late. So what have you done today? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what work have I done today? Like, it's not, it's, honestly, it's not a normal day. Like, I actually get work done in the future. Okay, you don't have to justify yourself. <laughs> I just got back from my cap support session. And if you didn't know what cap support is, cap support is the mental health awareness group here in cap. Today is actually the last formal session of the year because the SAM is coming to an end. Yeah, I'm really gonna miss all the people in CAP support. I've really learned so much from all the people from our conversations about mental health, how to support people, and talking about our own emotions and vulnerabilities as well. So after today's session, we played this game called We Are Not Really Strangers. Um, basically, this game has a series of cards where you pick a card and then you either get people to answer that question about you or you answer that about yourself. And these questions are deep questions about yourself. They can range from talking about your values to your emotions to what people think of you. And yeah, I really get to know a lot of people from this game. So there's actually an online version if you want to play with your friends. So you don't have to get the actual cards. And it makes for a really good session because some of these conversations are very hard to access. Sometimes it's important to be intentional about having these kind of conversations. I think it's really important that everyone has an opportunity to share about what's on their mind, what's been troubling them. It's kind of late now. I basically have not done any work today. So let's go and check out how much work Joseph has done today. Hello. Hello. Mm. It's 10 43. Mm. What have you been up to? Uh, see in Kim, we had a long ass conversation for our class. And I sat there and So the question of the day is how many hours do you study today? Oh, actually, hey, this is not a typical day that like, I actually do study. It's just today I was just very busy with other non-studying things. Good night. <laughs> You're taking a nap? Yeah. Dude, it's 11.45. Okay, so that was a day in the life of one of the laziest people I know. And in the end, I think I became really lazy myself. Like, I basically did zero studying today. Okay, I don't think lazy is the right word. I think the right word is that I was doing things other than studying. Someone mentioned to me before that uni is a balance between three things, sleep, studies, and social life. And clearly my priorities are not in academics. I think a big part of uni is that you are constantly surrounded by people. So sometimes when you're walking along the corridor or you go for lunch with a group of people, you start a conversation that you just don't want to end. And so this can be a distraction from work. And I think slowly I began to realize that I was losing a lot of time for myself. 
not just time for studying but also time for introspection and just to chill in my room, you know, watch YouTube videos. And I find that I get a lot less of that ever since I stayed on campus. So hopefully this video gives you more realistic insights on what uni life might be like. It's really very vibrant and it's not always about academics. And I think uni is the last opportunity in your life to try new things and to connect with people. And so I'm really trying to make the most of my four years in uni. So I find it okay sometimes to just drop my studies and engage in these kind of activities, which really made me a lot happier. So thank you so much for watching this video. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>